guys, you're getting you're gonna see us uh, um react to a rankings list on the Z Show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For, we'll 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 get back to the news in a minute. I just gotta see this list that Michael's complaining about here. I just got to see this list here. Article? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 11. Okay. Okay. That's bullshit because that's a – I like that show. Yeah. Number 11. So, that That's bullshit because I like that show. They said the visual sucks. The animation was a in a innovation. The animation was an in a innovation, a gamble, and bonus. Be, uh, it should be admired, admired but not the results. They said it was a, a clunky 3D, right? Reminiscences of the night. They said the voice casting was awesome. But I, they just talking about how it looks for why it's 11. Like, what? All right. 10 is blank. Do you see 10? It's just blank. Yeah, there's no... Yeah, there's no 10. There's no 10. Yeah, yeah. Night Spider-Man Unlimited. The only thing I have with Spider-Man Unlimited <laughs> for me is the fucking... Ending, bro. They dropped off a cliffhanger. That's one of my most hated things about the show. Number eight is the eighty-one Spider-Man, nineteen eighty-one. Seven is. The and I already know what number seven is. Yeah, seven is the the newer one, the the, the newest one, the newer one. Okay. The fact that the fact that that is over Spider-Man Unlimited is bullshit. That should be ranked at the very bottom because that's the worst. Like, oh my gosh, that's yeah. Then they have uh, this this Spider Spider Man. Then they have Spider Man and his amazing friends. And don't get me wrong, I watch all the Spider Man and his amazing friends. It's not better than Spider Man Unlimited. I'm good, you know that. It's 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 really goofy. It's a really goofy cartoon. Like yeah. Let's see. Four is ultimate Number Spider-Man, four. by the way. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm so... What in the fuck? Four is ultimate Spider-Man. This one... Four is ultimate... See, ultimate we are Spider-Man. Right, ultimate Spider-Man number four. Ultimate Spider-Man is number four. Over Spider-Man Unlimited? Okay, look, I have my issues with Spider-Man Unlimited, but even I don't put Ultimate Spider-Man above that show. Oh, guess what number three is? (laughs) Did you see number three? You want to clip it? I I, I just found the three share option. Yeah, yeah, three spectacular Spider Man. The, I'm sorry, but this show, this show right here, is a is a masterpiece. How in the fuck is this number three? Let's read this because this first line is. Spectacular Spider-Man was the pinnacle of Spider-Man cartoons for the Gen Z crowd, which is kind of surprising because it had more romance than a Televanova. I'm sorry, what? One of the highlights. Sorry. One of the highlights. Yeah, look, Spectacular Spider-Man was the pinnacle of Spider-Man cartoons for the Gen Z crowd. Which is kind of surprising because I have more romance than a telenovela. I am sorry, but Spider Man, spectacular Spider Man, the fact that you're comparing it to a telenovela says a lot about who you are (laughs) and what you're doing as a human being. 
What? How in the fuck do you look at this and go, oh yeah, it's it's got the same romance as a telenovela? Go fuck yourself. One of the highlights is the awesome in-depth character <sighs> characterization of Gwen Stacy, who we all can agree was dealt a pretty crappy hand, so Peter can end up with MJ. Okay, well that I agree with. Is well, the that, villain. that oh, that man. I agree with. Oh man, the villains. Each was chosen wisely from Spider-Man's lore and given the kind heart of retellings, uh, giving the kind of heart that made the retellings interesting. It's difficult to tell the same story over and over, but this one perfectly balances our respect for the source material, but it's modernizing, but modernizing it in a way to make the relevant current view for her views. No, okay. I don't okay, agree with the Stacy thing. Why don't I agree with it? Because Gwen Stacy. <sighs> Was we all say Uncle Ben? What is what made Peter realize that? Um, is what made Peter realize that? Hey, like I, I'm, I'm gonna have to actually be responsible with my powers and actually help people. Yeah, but I like what basically what what showed him like what real loss was. But also, it's but also like Gwen Stacy's death also um, plays into like that theme that was actually explored in the um, animated Spider Verse films. This idea of uh, Spider Ham actually says it in the Into the Spider Verse, where he says the hardest part about this job is that you can't always save everybody. Yeah, and that, Gwen that Stacy, was- Gwen Stacy is a perfect example of that. You know, so, but, no, I don't think I don't think her thing was so he could end up with MJ because in the comics right now, me and MJ have beef. The fuck, Paul. <laughs> Number two, Look, my thing, my thing with Gwen Stacy and the Spectacular Spider-Man is that I feel like they could have done so much more with that relationship had they actually continued the show. Y'all gonna hate what I wanted. You gonna hate what I'm about to say. I wanted him to end up with Liz. Okay. Okay. Well, I mean, that that just makes you a horrible person if you think he, if you think him and Liz would have would have made a good couple. Oh come on, Petey. I I just uh, I never bought them. I never bought him and Liz. I, I could have bought it because he was like low key kind of changing her. I don't know. It, it, it was cute. Eh. Eh. Number two, though. Three, you hate. Two, I hate. I love. Okay. Two. Okay. Yeah. 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 I. 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 That one, I do agree with you on. I'm okay. I'm sorry. Just go to number one. I gotta see what number one is. Oh look, there is no number one. What kind of list is this? Wait, are you sure? Are that... you sure it's not going this way? I that... think it is going. I think it is going that way. Oh, no. So, so number one is. Uh... Okay, but that's stupid, though. Then that's this is a stupid layout. Yeah. Well, still, Spider-Man Unlimited is way too low, and for what he said about Spider-Man, uh, spectacular Spider-Man. Look here, be Pasha ba- ba- Bashi, Bashia. You're a fucking idiot. You're stupid. <laughs> I hope you never wrote again after this. I know this was made in 2019, but I just saw it five years later, and I just want to let you know. Nobody told you you was an idiot. <laughs> You're an idiot. <laughs> That's the best. But yeah, I came over here to see what the new Spider-Man show was, and I saw this list, and I was like, "All right, well, I check out the list," and that list was ass. Um. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like we're gonna have to. We're gonna. We're gonna have to. Uh. Uh. <laughs> your your go-to feeling was, you know what? Shit, we got.